People say good fences make good neighbors. I'll talk about a border problem I've had in a bit. Trees do more than give us shade. They enhance curb appeal and increase our property's value if they're cared for. However, trees that grow on or near property lines can cause conflict between neighbors and can sometimes lead to feuds and lawsuits. A tree near a property line belongs to the owner that the tree dirt is planted in, the ground where it is growing. This is true even if the neighbor planted the tree. If he planted the tree on your side, in your ground, it's your tree. It's a good idea to have the property surveyed so you know where the line is if there's no fence before planting trees. Don't assume the boundary line stops where you stop mowing. It might be a few inches in either direction. When tree trunks lie directly on the boundary between properties, this is known as a boundary tree and is assumed to be owned by both neighbors. Both neighbors care for the tree and both owners have to agree on having it taken out of the ground if that's what they are wanting to do. They have to share the costs of trimming and what other care needs to be done to it. Sometimes neighbors bicker over branches. When a neighbor's branch extends over your boundary line and your fence, you have the right to trim that branch back, but only to the borderline or the boundary line and or the fence. And you don't want to do excessive trimming to where it kills the tree, then you are liable and responsible for the death of that tree on somebody else's land. And you don't want that to happen because that could cost up to thousands of dollars for paying for a tree that you accidentally overcut and it died. Spreading roots of trees can push down fences, push up driveways and sidewalks and cause all kinds of conflict and even break sprinkler pipes. If you have a tree that the roots encroach and destroy uh, a neighbor's property in one way or another, you are liable for those damages. And a local ordinance or court may require you to remove that tree altogether. Let's talk about fruit trees. Although one neighbor can trim a tree from their yard to the border or fence of the tree that's on the other side, if the tree is bearing fruit, that fruit is the tree owner's fruit, even if it's on your side. Whether it falls to the ground and it's yours or not, is still questionable. You do always want to ask the owner of the tree if you can pick those fruits and eat them yourself or to ask if they want that fruit and how you guys want to work that out. In many communities, you're just out of luck if your trees or somebody else's trees is covering a view. In other communities, it's not considered cool. Some communities have ordinances where trees and bushes can't be to a point to where it is obscuring other people's view and they have to be trimmed or taken out. So I've had many conflict of borders throughout different houses I've lived in. In the country, you generally have many spaces where there's no fences or the fences are easily breached. I've lived in an area that was a large acreage and people have come in. One time, me and my ex-husband were driving in and found an open gate to an area where we're entering and there was a truck and we found a man there and we asked him, hey, what are you doing? You know, this is our land. And he said, oh, I'm just running my dogs. And it was a cattle ranch and we're like, you can't have these dogs on this property and you can't be on this property. And he's like, well, I just wanted to run them. And I thought, you know, they're hunting dogs. He's having them run or hunt on somebody else's land. Luckily it was 
peacefully resolved with words and he gathered all of his dogs and left. And that was one incident. Uh, I've had several other incidents where I was leasing a home and the people behind us were wanting us to put a new fence in and I was telling them uh, this is a landlord issue, we are renters and they seemed to be very aggressive towards me about dealing with this problem but uh, we, were, we were moving out in a couple weeks anyway so I, I told the landlord and hopefully that was peacefully resolved. There was another issue where it was a positive outcome, where in one house, the neighbor was redoing their front lawn to be more zero-scaped, and <clears throat> our side of the house kind of connected, and this side of our house was really not growing grass well, it was just ugly. And he had asked if we could be included in the zero-scape, and if we just paid for our portion. And I agreed to that and paid for that, and it actually turned out really nice and beautiful and it really helped enhance our property as well as theirs. It was a, a good experience. I've, I've had other experiences, but we won't linger on forever about it. But conflicts do arise and we have to be thoughtful, not angry, because we want to be peaceful and friendly with our neighbors while living in our home because we don't need added stress. We like fences because it gives us privacy, especially living much more closer to the city. Like and subscribe. Tap the bell if you want updated videos. If you're looking to buy or sell a home, contact me. Do you have any experience, whether positive or negative, dealing with border and shrub or tree issues wherever you've lived? I'd love to hear about it. Put it in the comments below.